In the last video, we said that understanding how to use variables is one of the most important building blocks for learning any coding language. So what is a variable? In programming, a variable is the tool that we use to store information inside of the computer's memory. The computer can use its memory to remember the past and plan for the future in the same way that we do with our own brains. So when we're writing code, we use the computer's memory to store pieces of information that need to be saved or updated as a program runs. In a video game, like Super Mario, memory is being used to track all of the different game elements that you see happening on the screen, from the score, to the time, to the number of lives that the player has left. The container for each of these different values in the game code is a variable. Let's start by thinking of each variable as a box. Every box has a label called the variable name and contains a value. To create the Super Mario program, the computer is storing thousands of boxes with different types of information. So how can we create our own variables in Python? A variable is created when you initialize it using this syntax. Python assigns the value 22 on the right side to the variable name x on the left. The equal symbol in Python is called the assignment operator. So we can read this line of code as the variable x is assigned the value of 22. Or using our box analogy, the variable box labeled x is now storing the value of 22. You could choose any label that you want for your variables, but we want the variable name to reflect the value it represents. So if 22 is a player's score in a game, a more descriptive variable name here would be score. Let's use the console to create some real Python variables. We'll start by using the syntax we just learned to create the variable x and assign it the value 22. To access a value that a variable is storing, we can just call that variable's name in the console. Python looks into memory for the box labeled x and opens it to give us the value 22. If we try to call for a variable labeled elephants, which hasn't been defined yet, the Python interpreter can't find the box and it throws an error. Another important aspect of variables is that like the name suggests, they can change their value. We've already assigned x the value of 22, but using the exact same Python syntax, we can update that value to be 1.5. This is called variable reassignment, and in the Super Mario example, the program is changing the score when a player gets a coin by reassigning a new value to the score variable. Use the exercises on the next page to get some practice assigning your own variables and updating their values in Python.